love, love me do. You know I all love you. Hi everybody. When you're in the room, please uh, say hi. So I know we're there and ready to begin. I feel like a teacher. Got some fun stuff for y'all to talk about today. Turn that one down. Oopsie. Oopsie. I made a boo boo. I don't think you guys want to hear. No, nope. no, nope. there we go. There we go. There, there. Is that Ace? Who's the first one in the room? Usually it's this Ace. Let's move this back a little. There we go. Who, who can it be now? Who can it be now? Who is that? Who is joining me today? Got a long list of birthdays to read off today for Swarm Club members. These are all the Swarm Club member birthdays for the month of September. <clears throat> What's up, Nick? Um, if I mistakenly mispronounce your name, I'm terribly sorry. Um, you guys know how bad I am at reading. <laughs> all right, so happy birthday to the following. Carmen Creamer, David Balance, Eric uh, McCutcheon, Jason Wyatt, Richard Kaczynski, Mary Keller, Christian Loop, Eric First, Martin Esquire, Brian Holt, Silakwia uh, and Juris, Owen Middleton, Natasha um, Minders, Michael Carroll, Jonathan Myers, Ray Uvalli, James Faber, uh, Winston Q, Robert Abel, William James, Stephen uh, Perez, Sean Lambert, Mark Metzler, Nolan Bradley, Joshua Kremonski, Randy Pelham, Andrew Carver, Jake Wendell, Dex Wilkinson, uh, Darren Bausfeld, Pascal Benefoy, uh, Raul Cintron, Young Jung Koo, uh, Troy Yuhani, Yuhanu, I'm sure I missed that up, I apologize, Troy. Eric uh, Birchland, Robert DeLong, Steve Roy, Austin Bos uh, Bros, Jason Wint, Thomas Wagner, Samuel Cox, Benjamin Francis, Andy Caps, Michael Rader, uh, Kitan Patel, Andrew Moore, Joseph uh, Kutai, uh, Carol Nadito, Grant, uh, Grant Klein, Kimberly Kraft, uh, Zodi Hanafa, Desire Watson, Timothy Elstrom, Darren Conway, James Bowers, Quinn uh, Adop uh, Adopica, uh, I can't speak today, gosh, Charles Dayton, and I just finished my coffee, I must need more, uh, Chris uh, Isert, Elizabeth Setter, Jason McDonald, Jose Dons Mustafa, Glenn uh, Runyon, Orlin Goldstein, Luigi Marcia, Joseph Swag, Juan Etta, Reggie Nobles, Ivan uh, Obedoza, uh, Jacqueline Griffiths, uh, Albert Tomasi Jr., Tomasa, Tomasta, Raul uh, Asturias, Cole C. Julie Atkins, Matt Offoot, Dustin Sink, Kevin Hogue, uh, Steve Willett, and Alan Mao. I just want to say happy birthday to you. That was the longest list we have done. All right. Uh, in September, uh, Jimmy uploaded a video on YouTube. Um, if you miss catching up with writer Mike McLean, Jimmy has done some phenomenal jobs on these interviews with the creative uh people that work here both on the writing and artistic side and it's a really great opportunity to kind of dwell on how their mindset is and where they come up with those ideas so check it out all right we did a uh, drawing on September 9th for club members so if you're not a club member you should join and get into those fun little raffles we have once a month for all members three prizes randomly just gonna pull your name and we're just gonna send it to you all right, we have a Swarm Club member spotlight. 
And I gotta say, this brother man has a very cool hat. This is Christopher Shazam Silva. Now that's a groovy name. Look at that. Horns up, everybody. Sworn Club member of the month. Look at that. I love that hat, man. That is one groovy hat. Thank you for sharing and thank you for becoming a Sworn Club member. Also, in four weeks, four weeks, can you believe it? We just wrapped up the uh, Lady Death Sacrificial Annihilation Kickstarter and we are starting on, in four weeks, Wargasm number one, Hell Witch versus Lady Death. This whole year has been leading up to this event. This is the battle of our two titans that will be battling out and it will determine the future of Coffin Comics. What will happen to the Coffin verse? You guys get to decide. We sent up the last totems uh, in the Kickstarter will be going out uh, when they get everything shipped. The last five vote totems, 33 in total, will be randomly tipped in throughout all physical campaigns. So everyone who backed the campaign gets one vote and if you receive one of those totems, you get five more votes, which means six votes. You can change the future of the Coffin Verse. That's right, I can't believe it's already come to this. This year's flown by. I wish it went by a little slower. Uh, last year seemed to drag on forever. Here is the Wargasm Homage Edition, homaging Silver Surfer versus Thor. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And some of the art for the covers that are coming through is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. All right, so here's our little description and our pitch for the Kickstarter. It's going to be Wednesday, October 13th, 2021, 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time slash Arizona Time, 10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for all our East Coast friends. I salute you all. So you guys know what to expect. These Kickstarter launch parties are a lot of fun. We'll have our computers ready to answer any questions for you, both myself, uh, Moonshine Mel, Brandy Sparkles and Madam Presidente Francesca will usually be here, and we're always here to help you guys out. So round one went to Lady Death after she dropped Hell Witch into a vat of flesh-eating toxic waste. That happened way back in Chapter 3, Damnation Gang. Round two went to Hell Witch, who sadly stabbed out Lady Death's eye. And that happened in Apocalyptic Abyss 1. Now, witness to their outrageously brutal third and final round. This is it. Sin City itself, Las Vegas, they're going to be duking it out. Say, this is for all the marbles. I'm looking forward to seeing how this is going to unfold. And like I say, guys, we are making it so you all get to determine how this story can change. You get to change it. So remember, Wednesday, October 13th, I can't believe it's already that time already. Be here with us. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, sacrifice, uh, sacrifice, sacrificial annihilation is fully funded. Thank you, everyone. It was another record breaker. Thanks to all you ladies and gentlemen out there. We humbly are uh, very thankful for all the support you guys get. And thank you uh, for backing that Kickstarter. Get ready, because they're going to be shipping that here probably a couple months. So, Swarm Fest 2022. Mike McLean is the guest spotlight this time around. Um, if you could please get tickets, it's going to be full of parties, artists, signings, panels, beer, food, coffee, alcohol, headquarters, volume two, tours, which is very cool. Just remember the rule. There is no, mer no number two in HQ. This is going to be a trading post, CGC, fiendship, camaraderie, community, and more. That is going to be in February 2022. Make sure you are there. We're taking over Mesa, Arizona. And that's just a quick rundown of what I have for you all today. Let's get started to the catacombs. I got some fun stuff for you guys. Also, next weekend, we are going to be doing a very cool promo. Crucial Con will be going on. So get ready. You're about uh, a week and a half away to the next Vault offerings and some really awesome exclusives. So stay tuned on Monday. We'll give you a little taste of that. And of course, next week on Wednesday's show, I make sure I'll have some samples for you. I just happen to forgive them. Anyways, let's go to the catacombs. Got a lot of good stuff for you guys today. I hope you enjoy the offerings. Let's start this off with Lady Death Rules Volume 3 Hardcover. 
I have Scratch and Dead stock available right now. One of these editions is signed with a certificate of authenticity from Brian Polito. So just loaded these up today. Get them while I got them. It's a really great value. Let me set this over here. Hope everyone is having a great week. The weekend's almost here. You'll have to find out. We've been uh, slowly uh, sprinkling in the guests uh, that will be there. So stay tuned. Jimmy, if uh, you could give that answer, will Sun K be at Swarm Fest? That would be awesome. I am sure she would get mobbed from all you fans out there. All right. I got some publisher files for y'all. This is... Uh, these are all the La Muerta uh, Coffin Verse, uh, Infinity Verse editions. First up is La Muerta Wastelands Warriors. These are limited to four, cover art by Mr. Gomez. Also, um, before I continue, I wanna thank uh, Joel Gomez uh, here personally. I'm gonna email today. It's been really hectic trying to catch up, but um, he sent uh, an original um, art cover of La Muerta, and it's a complete wraparound cover to uh, help uh, raise money for my niece, whose mother passed away uh, last month, so I'd like to personally thank him um, for contributing that beautiful piece of art, and um, I'll let you guys know when it'll be uh, going up for sale. Um, it is a charity book, and it is to help to raise money for my niece. Um, thank you everyone who backed her um, GoFundMe. Uh, she definitely uh, is very grateful and wanted me to thank you guys personally. All right, next up, continuing with La Muerta Infinity Verse, this is the Punk Rock Edition. I will go ahead and get these all gussied up with your certificates and stickers. Eric, how are you? Tim, holy sh, what? Did I show something you liked? <laughs> This next one is La Muerta Pinups. This is a Jaguar Claw edition. This is a publisher file. Those are the three I have for you today. Oh, glad you like them, Tim. We try to uh, definitely uh, get some real pretty books out for y'all. All right, these are the last copies I'm presenting today. This is Treacherous Infamy, number one, Ghost Metal Edition. I have about three or four left. Once these are gone, that's it. They are sold out. Again, another amazing, beautiful find by Dakota. Thank you, Dakota, for finding those for us. So last copies, scoop them up, scoop them up, yum, yum, yum. Yes. Also, I hope everyone's enjoying their Wednesday. And if this is your lunchtime, I hope you're enjoying your lunch and glad you could be spending it here with me. All right, something real special, real special. These will probably go quick. But I have the following. This is Evil Ernie, Resurrection Number 1, signed by Brian Polito and remarked by Brian Polito. I have a nice little stack here for y'all. Get them before they are gone. Each remark is different. See here? I went ahead and each one's really unique. I have these available today. And once they are gone, then it's it. This is all the copies I will be selling today on the catacombs. So scoop it up while you can. Look at that. Brian Polito's signature here, and uh, him remarking on a Joe Casada, Jimmy Pagliotti. Pagliotti. Eh, I can't speak. Palamati art. <sighs> all right. Another exclusive to here at the catacombs. At the catacombs. We have Chaos Quarterly number one, signed by Brian Polito. All the stock I have is available right now. Once these are gone, that is it. Classics today for you folks, classics today. Also, all you print fans out there, I am debuting for the first time on the Catacombs and at the Coffin Shop. 11 by 17 print Grab bags are now available. I have made 28. See how they do. Um, duplications can occur if you buy multiple packs. Uh, that can happen. It's just like buying a giant pack of trading cards, but there are 11 by 17 prints. Five prints in the package, $25. So get them now. I've got them in stock. Um, if they do well, I'll keep bringing them back and until I don't have any more. So I've had these on eBay for about two years now, sold out of my stock. 
I've been promising to uh, get them done, but a lot of things have uh, disrupted uh, the workflow of the stuff I want to present to you, so they are now available today on the catacombs. So all my uh, print fans that are getting those on eBay, um, definitely scoop them up. They are now available here at the Coffin Comic Shop. All right, we got the Chaos Quarterly. We got this, I've got that, oh. I got a beautiful mock-up edition for y'all. Beautiful mock-up edition. This is Malevolent Decimation Numero Uno Heavy Metal Mock-Up Edition. I'll be gussing this up. I don't like the bag it's in, so I'm gonna put it in a nicer, neater bag. Still have the COA in there, so I'm gonna get those all spruced up for you all today. So, like I say, I have not a ton of stock, but I got a lot of volume, and there's still a bunch of stuff up still available on the catacombs. Also, um, I have uploaded some items onto eBay, uh, most of the direct market stuff. Who is messaging me? Okay. 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 Oh! It was Jimmy uploading stuff. So go ahead and Jimmy provided the link down below there for you, Tim. Go ahead and click on that link and it'll take you right to the catacombs. Um, we do things different than most live selling shows. We don't do shout outs. I used to be able to put uh, the link up in here so you could do uh, shopping, but for some reason it just really messes up uh, with how the videos um, stream, I guess would be the proper term. I'm not very technical, so <laughs> in case you didn't know that already. But definitely, Tim, check it out. Oh, cool, Tim. You like to say that's where you make the selections. Jimmy will go ahead and post these links on here um, for y'all so you can click on it if you are new to the show. And uh, by the way, welcome, man. Welcome. I hope everyone's week's going by quick. It's already Wednesday. That means we are just a few days to the weekend. I hope I know everyone had a wonderful three day weekend the past week. Um, just seeing everyone's post, uh, what they were doing on Labor Day, barbecues and camping. It's a lot of fun to see, and also it's been a blast seeing all these uh, pictures of everyone's packages coming in from the Kickstarter. Um, Brandy's crew has really taken it to a whole new level here at HQ, and um, you got to give them a round of applause. Those guys and gals just did the fastest pulling for the Kickstarter I have ever seen in my nearly three years here. So. Round of applause for Fabian, Mario, Dakota, Anya, all those folks, Tanner. They've all been in there working really hard. Um, and I'm sure you guys have noticed because they really try to get things out quickly, uh, especially all the store orders as well as Kickstarters. So lots of fun stuff for you guys all today. Who else is in watching today? Who do we got today? Today, today, today. No, no, I'm not going to request myself. Ew. That'd be weird. Hey, Tim, if you haven't already, um, I highly recommend joining the Sworn Club if you're not already a member. Um, one thing that's cool about Sworn, uh, Sworn Club memberships is you get a discount on your birthday. We'll do a shout out. It enters you into our monthly raffles we do where we raffle off three nice little prize packets for all the members. And also, it gets you an exclusive one hour to shop before the general public especially when we're doing these big uh, promos that we do uh, a couple times a month. So sometimes we also do special offers strictly for club members, Tim. So if you haven't joined, I highly recommend you do. And if you're new to the show, welcome, welcome, welcome. You've reached probably one of the best groups of comic book fans and collectors in the world. Let's see, who do we got on here? No, no. It's so wanting me to request myself to interview myself as myself. Um, I know that sounds crazy, but you know. Yep, Jimmy right there. Thank you, Jimmy, for providing the links right there to join the club. Uh, it's a really great club. There's a lot of great benefits. You get these awesome lanyards right here. It's got the nice coffin logos. You got your little uh, VIP little badge you get to wear. You also got these great buttons. There's stickers. There's a holographic membership card. It is a fun thing to join. So I'm really glad it's something we brought back. Um, I know we used to have a club previously. 
years ago. Um, so we did definitely um, switched it up and made it into the Sworn Club. So join in. Also, if you think there's anyone that would be interested in our groups, introduce them to our products. We've got a lot of great stuff. I also recommend the Scratch and Dent stock. Um, been loading that up with a lot of uh, items um, almost weekly now. So uh, if you don't want to give up your uh, nice copies, you can always uh, pick up a scratch and dent and go ahead and uh, have no problems with that out. <laughs> don't delay, man. Get it today. I'm talking to you, brother. Get it. Jimmy's got that link for you. Just go ahead and sign up. It's a lot of fun. Uh, and not only that, if you've been in this uh, the Sworn Nation group, everyone's there to help you out if you're looking to where, uh, where to begin reading the new uh, Lady Death series or where to begin to get uh, all things Coffinverse. It's all right here. Um, if you don't want to ruin your um, physical copies, we do have digital copies available as well. Uh, and then you can look that up and read it on your device. Huh. Anyways, everybody, it's going to do it for me today. I will see you guys Monday. I'm going to get some food in my belly because I am so hungry because it's lunchtime. And I'm having a chicken, or not a chicken tire, just just a taco salad. That's what I'm having for lunch. Hope everybody has an amazing... Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Jimmy has something here for us. Wow, hot off the presses, everybody. Hot off the presses. Jimmy, what do you got? Let's announce it. Whoa, we're announcing it. Whoa. Looks like we're announcing this a, uh, a week early, but... That's next week. Oh, my God. Is it really already? <laughs> you really guys should need Jimmy. His mask is all askew because he came running in here real fast. All right. Here's what we're going to announce for you today, folks. This is... Are you ready? In uh, For the Crucial Con exclusives, here's what we're going to be offering next week. And these will all be determined... At least these next two editions will be determined by orders placed by Monday, September 27th at 5 p.m. Are you ready? This is Lady Death Chaos Rules Queen Death Edition, cover by Marat Michaels, cover colors by Sean Vornery, and the graphics by Dan Feldmeyer. This will run you $20. $20. This is the homage to the King Spawn record breaker that uh, Todd McFarlane put out. Here's the original. Here is our homage edition to that. So these will go live Thursday, September 23rd at 10 a.m. For all you Sworn Club members, that's actually 9 a.m. You get in an hour early. Scoop that up. But wait, there's going to be another one. What about this following edition? Chaos Rules Queen Death Variant Edition. Again, Marat Michaels, Sean Fornery, and Dan Feldmeyer. Uh, again, this is the homage to the record-shattering King Spawn number one signed variant edition by McFarlane, limited to orders that will be received between Thursday, the September twenty-third, to Monday, September twenty-seventh at five p.m. Books will be serial numbered, so get it today. This is optionally signed in red by Brian Polito, and numbered is the edition bag and boarded with a custom event theme certificate. Thirty dollars for the Death Queen variant edition. Also, Jimmy's got some other cool stuff for us. We're gonna have, these are stunning. Uh, this is the Autumn Equinox edition. This is Lady Death Gallery. Oh, excuse me. Sora Sung is the artist, colors by Kate Colors. These will be limited to 100 serial number copies. It'll run you $25. That is a very beautiful piece. Thank you, Sora for again contributing another beautiful, beautiful piece. All this stuff will go live next week. Here we are with the next one. This is the Naughty Autumn Equinox Edition. These will be limited to uh, 150 copies and will run you $30. Beautiful piece. And for all you fans out there, for saying Chi, I've seen a lot of people talking about it. Everyone seems to be really digging it. Hopefully I'll try to catch it uh, this weekend. This is Lady Death, Scorch Earth, Death Fu Edition. This is the homage of the uh, Marvel Super... Bleh, Marvel <laughs> Special Marvel <laughs> Edition. Oh, God, I, I give up. Number 15, it's um, homaging the first appearance of Saint chi by, um, Gemini, um, by Gemini. Cover is by Stephen Butler. Cover and color by Dan Feldmeyer. This will be limited to 125 copies 
and they will run you 25 De Niro. Also, it's a beautiful piece by Mr. Harrigan, we will be offering Cataclysmic Majesty Naughty Metal Mausoleum Edition. This will run you $100, and there will be 77 serial number copies. These will go live next week, limited to 77. Also, they're back. They're back. We don't know how long they're going to be available, so you might want to scoop these up. How about the Heavens No Collector Box? Pricing will be about $25 to $30. We are only offering 100 of these. Once they are gone, they are gone. But we will also be offering the Hell Yes edition. This will also be running about $25, $30. Um, prices on all supplies have started going up here in the industry, which is a bit of a drag. So uh, unfortunately, the price will be going up uh, by a few dollars on these, but we are still limiting them to 100. So once they're gone, that's it. That's right, collector boxes will be offered two this time around. Two! Also, we got 11 by 17 prints. Here is the master of, or mistress of death who? Yes, Gary, I will definitely have these ordered <laughs> for you. There is the naughty autumn equinox. There is the Autumn Equinox. Again, Sword of Song did both of these editions. These prints will run you $16. And we also will be having, bam, Queen Death. 11 by 17 prints will be available. Check it out. Crucial Con. Crucial Con next weekend. Get it. Got it. There's going to be a vault stuff too. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Vault, vault, vault. Lots of cool stuff. Hope you guys are liking what we're going to be throwing out to you. Jimmy, is there any other surprises we should warn them about? No. Well, no? Stay tuned. Stay, stay tuned. tuned. There's going to be more surprises for next weekend. So I'm Julian the Hooligan, showing you guys a little taste of what's going to be available next week. I will talk to you guys. Eric Hart. Whoa, Eric Hart is here. Just getting in. Looks like I may have missed the books uh, for next week. Any chance I can see them real quick. For you? Sure. Let's do a recap. We have the Chaos Quarterly, signed by Brian Polito. I have a few stock available. I also have Evil Ernie the Resurrection, signed by Brian with remarks Whoa. by Brian Polito. Very limited stock. These are available now. I also, Eric, have a mock-up of the Malevolent Decimation Metal Edition. Ooh, excuse me. I've got the hiccups really bad today. Empty belly. Mmm. Uh, there also will be three La Muerta pinup editions. These are publisher files, and they are part of the Infinity Purse. Bleh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't say it at all. The Jaguar Claw, uh, Claws, the Punk edition, as well as the Wasteland edition. These are publisher files. I have three available today. Also, the last copies of Lady Death, Treacherous Infamy, Ghost Metal editions. Uh, are up on the catacombs today. And we also just uploaded a bunch of scratch and dent hardcover editions of Lady Death Rules. Uh, one will be signed, everything else is unsigned. That was just a real quick recap for you there, Eric. Who else do we got here? Matthew Jones. Matthew Jones, you know what? You're not, you're not looking well. I think you need to go home and lay down. I think you need to take an early day. This is your doctor speaking, <laughs> Julian the Hooligan, Dr. Hooligan. And I think you need to get a lot of bed rest, man. Work is really draining you. I think you need a day off. Anyways, that's going to do it today for me. Thank you, Jimmy, for all the help as usual. I'm Julian Hooligan. I'm sworn to you guys. I'll talk to you on Monday. I'm out!